In this video, I'll show you how to create an intro scene for your game. Similar to Valve and Supercell games. If you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in. So let's start by opening up Gitto. I'm gonna make this a new scene and I'm gonna make it a user interface scene. Hit the plus button. We can add a color rect. I'm gonna go into the 2D view, hit the anchor preset and then full rect. And on the color, we can make this black. I'm gonna duplicate the color rect and one will be the background and one will be the overlay. So I'm going to change the name to background and for this one overlay. Then I'm going to add a label and I'm going to hit the anchor preset and center it. And on this label you could enter your studio's name and you can set it to center on vertical and horizontal. Go down to theme overrides and change the font or font size. Something like that seems good. You could also add a sprite, sprite 2D, and give it a sprite. I'm gonna add this sprite. I'm gonna position it above the studio name, something like that. Then you wanna drag the overlay to be below the label and the sprite, so it's covering it. Then we can select the root node and add animation player. Hit create, then on animation, hit new, and I'm gonna call this intro. I'm gonna set the time to 3 seconds. Select the overlay and on the color, I'm gonna key it and create a new key. Then I'm gonna go to frame 1.5 seconds and I'm gonna change the color to transparent, make a new key. And then you can go to the last frame and you can either make a new key or copy the existing one. So select the first key and copy it. And then you can just paste it at the end. So paste. And if we play the animation, it fades in and fades out. Next thing you would want to do is attach a script to the root node. I'm gonna call this intro and I'm also gonna save the scene as intro. Then in the script we want to connect a signal from the animation player. So select the animation player, go to node and under signals you want to connect animation finished. Double click on it and connect it. And then when the animation finishes we want to change the scene. So that's get tree dot change scene to file and then we want to change the main menu. On the animation player, you want to enable autoplay on load, so this animation plays when the scene starts. So enable that, it should be blue. Save the scene, and when you run the scene, it should play the animation, and then it changes to the other scene. And if you watched my video on how to make a transition in Giro, this is a fade in and fade out using a global script. And if you watch that, you can do change scene dot change scene and then change scene dot main menu. So if I play the scene and now instead of just cutting off, it will fade in and fade out to the new scene when the animation finishes. A couple other things you want to do are on the run, you want to change the main scene to be the intro. So that's intro dot tcn, hit open. And now when you run the project, it will run this scene. Then under boot splash, you want to change the background color to be the same as your background color in the intro. And then you don't want to show the Godot logo, so you want to disable show image. And now if you hit close and you run the project, it's just gonna be nice. And then it starts, and I'll hit start, and I can run my game. And in this intro, you could even play a video inside of here, if you have one. And you could also add sound effects or anything. This is the basics on how to get it working. Thanks for watching and special thanks to the Kofa members for making this video possible. If you want to support my work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out my Kofi in the description and I'll see you in the next one.